Hey guys, I'm Money Mech. Today we're going to be making a render of uh, some guy's Minecraft skin. So basically this random guy on Discord uh, messaged me and said, Hey, could you make me a render of my Minecraft skin? And I was like, alright, guess I will. So uh, let's begin here. Let's go to our preferences. Go click install, downloads, and MC prep, install the add-on. Now we go just click here to have it in here and I go to the side and pull this out. Go click empty prep and now we want to reload assets here. Now let's scroll down. We're going to go to simple player. Click simple player, spawn it in. Let's just move this cube here real quick. We go to skin software and press to reload. And now we want to add our skin from file. I've already downloaded it from Nova, the Nova Minecraft website so if you ever want to go to uh go and download the skin you can just go put the new username there just yeah i'm gonna put the link for that in the description below as well let me see our skin here it works all right so next we want to have all our render settings i'm gonna put a video in the description below uh maybe i should have it like pop up on the side of the video as well so that you could click on that and then go to the video i'm going to skip on ahead to when i finish putting all the settings in so just, uh, just take the time to go and do that right now so just one thing i want to mention now that you guys have all your render settings make sure that you go to cycles click here click ev because you want uh because ev just renders way faster when you're editing but then when you want to actually like uh, when you want to actually render your image then you could go click on cycles uh, just use ev for editing and then once you're done with editing switch to cycles and then you, you got your image all right let's start with the posing so this guy you want to have the pose as like standing standing up tall right standing up tall and proud with the diamond sword so if you want to go to post mode you click on the little green dancing guy here uh, you can also go to the left side and just click post mode here yeah, let's go and add the diamond sword right now. I used the diamond sword for the Fallen Kingdom King uh, render I made before. Actually, the models could probably be found in MC Prep. Uh, I'll just use the ones I already have. So now let's get the image in. Let's go here, click image texture, and add the diamond sword texture. It looks kind of blurry right now, but all you have to do is go to linear and change that to closest, and there we go. Now, let's start the actual posing now. Let's make him uh, tall and proud with the diamond sword. Okay, so here, these are bones. You click on them and you click over here and you're able to rotate them. Let's make the head a little up a little bit, maybe on the side. Now, let's just keep it up. That looks pretty good. Um, let's make the arms in like a holding the hip, you know, hands on the hip. Uh, wait. Wait, what's wrong here? What? What is this? What is... This is horrible. Why is there... What? It's on it. It's on the other side too. Wait. It's, on, it's under the hood as well. Alright, so... I think this... this I think this random guy took his... Uh, took his skin from some random place and just tried editing on a jacket. But ended up with holes on the side since he doesn't know how to get the insides of the skin so then he ended up putting the jacket on all the all the outside parts except for the inside parts so that's why there's holes on the inside when you open when you move the arms a little bit uh this is terrible oh, whatever uh i could just tell him about it later i guess Let's go and pose it a little bit here. Alright, so I skipped ahead a little bit here. Now we have to pose so that I'll show you how to set up the camera. Make sure you click on the green camera thing here and click Control Alt Numpad Zero. There we go. Control Alt Numpad Zero and it will put the camera in position here. Let's go and get it right real quick. Alright, I think this looks good. Now we could go and start messing with the lights. So you see the, the light the lights are here, so let's just move this into a position that we like. In the front, maybe in the back, be better. Oh wait, no, but that looks good. Yeah, you can see it refl reflecting. You can see the light off of the sword a little bit. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to uh, change the color. Let's make it uh, like actually, let's make it a tiny bit of shade of the pink. Yeah. 
There we go. Now let's control C, control V here, and start moving the light sources around. And we just want to keep moving light sources around, control C, control V, move the light source around until we have all the light sources in place like this. Let's just put a couple down here until it looks good. Alright, so I think we have finished the lighting here. The only thing I don't like about this is the skin. The skin is just so bad. It's terrible. Ah, uh, this guy has no idea how to make a skin. How could he not fill the insides? How old is this person? Why did I take the request? Well, you know, I know what a good skin looks like, so... Oh shoot, I accidentally pointed the outside, but wait. Wait, dude. Oh, guys. Guys, wait, look at this. He's got, like, parts of the jacket on the inside as well. He tried... He tried putting it on the first layer for, for the for the jacket. I don't, I actually, I don't know what the things on the sides of the arms are. That's kind of weird. You can see, like, the little, little string things from the jacket are on the main part of the model for some reason. This is definitely, like, a, a new player. But here, here is what a good good skin looks like. This is called the perfect skin. No flaws anywhere to be seen. Ah, I just amaze myself every day. Alright, so anyways, now that we are done with everything, we want to go to render, render image, and uh, since everything's set up, it'll just render. There it is. There's the abomination. Ah, I have, to, I have to watch this whole process. I have to watch. My eyes just have to stare at this abomination. It's actually kind of upsetting just seeing how poorly made this was. Or no, the doge, the doge is pretty good. To attempt to add a jacket is the bad part. Ah, but you know, he's probably a new player trying skin, t skin making for the first time, and he wants, he wants me to make a render of it. Wants me to make a, make a cute little render. <sighs> I can't blame him. Let's go and save the image now. <sighs> it's just this. No, no. Let's name it worst skin I've ever had to see. That is what I will name this. I won't even make it transparent. Doesn't need to be transparent right now. <sighs> there it is. Actually, let's go and let's go and message the guy right now. Let's go and do that. Now this over here, this is a real render for a real skin. That's all folks. <laughs>